food because they're heavy, maybe they get the attention. But Canelo has done a little bit more, but I'm a big fan of all that. I'm a big fan of boxing, period. And you know, it is a great time for boxing right now. Great time to be a fighter. Thank God I'm still in that circle. But at the same time, I'm doing the commentating, you know, working for Inside PPC Boxing. So I'm just all around, I'm, 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 I'm thrilled that I am part of boxing history. And speaking of great Mexican fighters, man, Ruiz and Joshua, do you think Ruiz brings those titles back Ooh, home? Now, listen, that's a tough one. People say that it was a fluke, it was a cheap shot. Not cheap shot, but it was punch a... Punch from the gods, is the quote. Punch from the gods. <laughs> you know, no better way you can put it. But I don't, I don't think it was. I think uh, Andy Ruiz definitely has a, a power in his hands. Definitely, you know, you can't take that fight away from him. Can he repeat history? Can we repeat that? It's going to be more difficult this time. It's not going to be any, as easy, but yes, he can. Do you think uh, the, the styles are favorable to him, though? Yes. That, yeah. Yes. Uh, Andy Reid's side, yes, no doubt. I think the one that needs more work and needs to really study this fight is Anthony Joshua, and I think he has been doing it. Uh, but it's going to be a more comfortable fight for Andy Reid and, and many reasons and, and different areas. You know, mind, uh, mindset, I think Anthony's going to have, you know, the punch. How does Joshua... How does Joshua prepare for those uh, multiple punches combinations that Ruiz throws in the heavyweight division? You can't, you can't. They're, they're, the only way is facing the guy again. How do you face your fear? Go face your fear. So I think that he's smart in doing that. Um, you know, people can say like, oh, you know, he got hit. Does he go in and, and, and spar with someone heavy and see, test his chin and see if he's got it? No, he's got it. Listen, I'm not talking down on Andy Reese, but consider this. Andy Reese went down on a perfect chin shot. Joshua went down on a shot on the temple. What does that do? It takes everything away from you. Mind, body, everything. You ask Anthony to Joshua, what happened? He said, I don't remember anything. Meaning that shot took everything. He's got a great shin, he can take a punch, but you know those punches are, are, are there, you know? He got hit right in the temple. Could it happen again? Yes, maybe. Would it happen? I don't know. Maybe he put his hands up this time and make it a, a more difficult fight for, for Andy Reese. Let's not forget he was down before. So, uh, if you stay behind that long one too, I'm saying it's difficult for Andy to get back. Difficult, yes, it was. And it, that's what we thought in the first fight. Well, that's a one-two. Andy's coming with four, five, six. Exactly. That's what we thought in the first fight. Oh, you cannot get in that guard. He's, he's too, too long of a distance. Great fighter, uh, outside fighter. But hey, once he got in there, guess what he did? Damage. He put him down. So, do you one last question. For a heavyweight to ever be considered number one pound for pound. Period. Is it harder? Yeah. Do you think it's At all. <laughs> Boxing has been the heavyweight division. There's no doubt. I mean, heavyweight is the heavyweight. Because I hear people say, oh, well, you can't be pound for pound if you're a heavyweight. No, nah, man. Whoever said that is... Probably not a boxing, you know, nothing. <laughs> he probably watches tennis or something. All right, man, take care. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe here to Fino Boxing by clicking right here and follow us at all our social media platforms. And my personal one is Adriana underscore sports.